Yes, visiting Saratoga is still the summer thing to do. Saratoga Springs, New York. Population just shy of 30,000. But each summer, thousands more descend on this bucolic town and discover anew what first enticed the earliest settlers. The Iroquois Native Americans were attracted to the natural springs in the area, thought to have healing properties. And during the Revolutionary War, the Colonial Army won a great victory over the British at the Battle of Saratoga. It has been called the turning point of the Revolution. While the waters in American history first put Saratoga on the map, soon tourists flocked for gaming as well. In 1863, John Hunter and W.R. Travers, backed by John Morrissey, the former Bare Knuckles boxer and then influential, if not quite respectable, politician, started a race meal. The latter part of the Victorian era was Saratoga at its height, the fashionable place to be in August. Many of the grand Victorian mansions that still line the streets were built then to house the yearly visitors, a who's who of the rich and famous. Drama on the track often provided the best entertainment in town, as Saratoga became known as the Graveyard of Champions. It was where a heavily favored man of war took the track in the 1919 Sanford States. Without starting gates to unify the starting field, Man of War was apparently standing sideways as they were sent on their way and couldn't quite catch the aptly named upset at the finish. It was Man of War's only loss in an illustrious 21 race career. 1930 Triple Crown winner Gallon Fox lost to Jim Dandy at 100 to 1 in the Travers. And Secretary, fresh from his 1973 Triple Crown campaign and that unforgettable Belmont Stakes win to accomplish it lost to Onion at Saratoga. Anchoring the sport's lush history, the National Museum of Racing at Hall of Fame is located just across from the racetrack on Union Avenue. Historical moments have paved the way for the best racing in the country, year in and year out. It's it's All against a backdrop that remains hunt.